We at Titan Tar are excited to tell you today about the U.S. Air Force wanting $5.8 billion for 2,000 AI-controlled aircraft. Be part of this journey with us and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. The United States Air Force is seeking a substantial budget allocation to build a significant number of artificial intelligence-controlled unmanned aircraft, ranging from 1,000 to 2,000 units. The XQ-58A Valkyrie aircraft were developed with the purpose of operating as a complementary robotic wing to human pilots, offering coverage and maneuverability in challenging scenarios in which a human pilot might face difficulties. Furthermore, these aircraft are designed for high-risk missions where human return would be unlikely. Later this year, a test will be conducted with the aircraft, simulating its ability to create its own strategy to pursue and neutralize a target in the Gulf of Mexico. Previously, it was revealed that the Valkyrie model is capable of reaching speeds of up to 885 km per hour, with an operational altitude of 13 km and a range of 5,556 km. In contrast, its predecessor, the XB-70 bomber, which made its first flight in 1964, required pilots in the cockpit and was in limited production. The budget estimate, which is still awaiting approval from Congress, presents an amount of expenditure worth 5.8 billion U.S. dollars, distributed over a period of five years, intended for the construction of the vehicles. This follows several years of flight testing conducted by the Air Force, in which the aircraft served as a communications link for F-22 and F-35 aircraft and the Air Force program that employs artificial intelligence-enabled systems for control of unmanned aircraft such as the Valkyrie. It was announced that each Valkyrie unit will cost between 3 million US dollars and 25 million US dollars, which is substantially lower than the acquisition value of a manned jet. Although the Air Force program has received broad support in the military, human rights defenders express concern about the possibility that unmanned war machines will pave the way for a dystopian future similar to that portrayed in the film The Terminator. The Director of Defense for the Weapons Division of an organization that advocates imposing international limits on the autonomy of lethal weapons expressed this concern by stating, Crossing the moral boundary by outsourcing the ability to take human lives to machines is a dangerous step, allowing that computer sensors, rather than human beings, determine the fate of human lives. Other critics of artificial intelligence weapons refer to these advances as problematic since the implementation of algorithmic decisions and weapon systems can accelerate the pace of combat potentially increasing the threats of rapid escalation of conflicts and the unpredictability of situations. Additionally, there is the risk associated with creating weapons of mass destruction. The Secretary General of the United Nations had already stated in 2019 that machines with the capacity and autonomy to take lives without human intervention are unacceptable from a political point of view, morally repugnant, and should be prohibited by international law. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We look forward to continuing the journey together. To the next.